Hello guys, Zondre here and welcome back to a new video in which we are going to talk about an OLX scam which almost happened with my friend Akash Mane from the channel Bapaugiri. And this scam is so lucrative, I mean even I wouldn't think twice if I get such an amazing deal. Without wasting any more time, let's get into the story and yes, this is going to be a story. So in beginning of June, Akash contacted me asking whether to go with OnePlus 6, S9 Plus or whether to wait for Mi 8 and his type of usage usually consists of a lot of pictures videos and when it comes to camera s9 plus is far ahead of oneplus 6 as well as me 8 and that's why i suggested him s9 plus and i also gave him an offer of 50000 for my s9 plus he said one of his other friend is also trying to sell his s9 plus meaning that friend's s9 plus and i thought obviously whoever gives him the best deal he should go with that particular friend and uh, not an issue at all and after a few days, he contacted me once again saying scam, 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 scam happened with me or something like that. I was like worried whether he lost his money or something like that. I did not know that this was about the S9 Plus because few days had passed till that time. And he was like he did not waste his money or he did not give anyone his money. But he realized that this scam is going on. So obviously he was interested in S9 Plus. S9 Plus is currently priced at around 65,000 rupees with cashback and all. It can come down to 60,000 rupees or 58,000 rupees. And he saw ads which were claiming that they will give S9 Plus anywhere from 20,000 rupees to 25,000 rupees to 30,000 rupees. And 30,000 rupees S9 Plus 64 GB variant is like mind boggling. I would pay 30,000 immediately if anyone can give me a genuine S9 Plus. And he was like, he is obviously interested. So he contacted the seller. Uh, there was one ad which said it was around 20 to 30,000 rupees. I can't quote the exact price. And he contacted the seller asking him what's the, where do you stay and all that stuff. Location of that seller was in Mumbai, meaning Akash can take his bike, go to that particular location, collect the device and come back. This is very easy. Sounds good, right? Like you can go meet the person, check the device. If the device is not genuine, don't accept. And always remember, if you are meeting someone to buy something from OLX, Either you meet him in your locality, like near your building where you know you have friends or ask your friends to come with you. Make sure you take them to your locality or to a good place or like a restaurant, CCD or something like that or a cafe. Do this. It's very important. Do not go to a sketchy place or do not go to their desired location, which you have never heard of. Why did I drift from the story? I mean, okay, let's get back to the story. So Akash contacted that person and that person said that he needs the money immediately because someone is admitted in the hospital and that person is in army so obviously whenever someone says army your heart feels like okay that this person is trustable and uh, you can obviously trust blindly when someone says that they are in army or they were in army or something like that and then Akash was like okay that's fine where do I meet you how do I give you money or he asked few normal questions and then the person said that you need to transfer me 5000 rupees which will be shipping charges then Akash said that if you live in Mumbai I'll come on my bike and I'll meet you. Then that person says that, no, I don't stay in Mumbai. I stay somewhere else and I'll courier that device to you. And that's why you have to give 5,000 rupees as shipping charges and shipping charges, meaning then you will get the device. And once you get the device, then you give me the uh, money like 20,000, 25,000 or 30,000, whatever the price that was present on the OLX ad. Even if you add the money, like even if the person was selling the device for 30,000 rupees, 30,000 rupees plus 5,000 shipping charges is equal to 35,000 rupees. And 35,000 rupees is crazy pricing for S9 Plus considering that amazing display, amazing performance. And yes, our review for S9 Plus will be coming soon, by the way. You will know why it's so late in that particular review. And then Akash was like, how do I trust you? Then that person sent him Aadhaar card details phone details, phone details as in uh, phones, photos, which is quite normal and also sent him the bill. One thing that you will notice immediately is that Aadhaar card name and bill name is different. Always remember if you're buying something from OLX.com and if that person said that he had bought that, then make sure that the bill name and that person's name on that person's identity card is same. This should match because if someone steals a device and uh, wipes it out or something like that, you will never know if that person actually owned the device or not. So always do take care of this. And after that, Akash was like, uh, oh, okay, you sent me everything and like that, but I am not sure if I want to give 5,000 rupees or something like that. So Akash kept that deal on hold. He was like, okay, let me just wait and see. 
he checked another ad oh yeah another ad from andheri so let's let me contact this guy which was one second from anywhere ranging from 20000 to 30000 rupees he contacted the person he the person gave him the whatsapp number akash contacted him on whatsapp that person said that i need the money immediately because someone is admitted in the hospital i am in army akash said okay uh, where do i come to meet you that person once again said you need to pay 5000 rupees at shipping charges once you receive the device you can give the rest of the money back meaning what they will make you think is that we are just taking the shipping charges from you but the higher amount which is 25000 rupees will take it afterwards when you receive the device which sounds like a good deal like 5000 rupees pehle de do 25000 baad mein de do but then akash said uh, but you live in mumbai I'll, i can come down there and i can meet you that person said no i don't stay in mumbai i'll have to ship the device pay me 5000 rupees and i'll give the device to you pay me rest uh, uh, when you get the device or something like that and then that person sent him aadhar card details phone's details and the bill and guess what the aadhar card was once again the same akash was like oh what the and even i was like when i read the chats i was like what this the uh, two people having the same aadhar card obviously this can happen that those uh, same person was running two ads but then the pricing was different uh, and the when akash asked him about did you post some other ad or something like that no nothing like that this is my only ad and uh, that person was asking him to pay 5000 rupees in advance and only then i can ship the device akash was like no i won't, don't want to do that so akash did not do that akash contacted the third person guess what third person also said the same thing i am in army if someone is admitted in hospital i need immediate money he sent him aadhar card details phone's details bill once again same bill same aadhar card same photo same everything was same if this was not enough akash contacted a fourth person with a similar kind of deal same thing once again that person also sent him a same aadhar card same phone's detail and said the same thing i am in army send me this send me that not only this all these four people had same bank account details uh, akash was shocked obviously he had to be shocked anyone would be shocked now let me talk about few important things First of all never ever pay anyone in advance on olx.com never do that those are not your relatives whom you can trust or whom you can do something with if they do not give you the device you can ask your father to talk to them this is not amazon or this is not flipkart where you can prepay for an order and don't worry about that this is olx never pay for anything in advance always remember this and one more thing when someone posts an ad from let's say mumbai they have to stay in mumbai and you should not accept any offer they, that they give outside of that city like let's assume they say i'm in pune or i'm in rajasthan but um, they posted an ad uh, showcasing that they are from mumbai do not accept that not at all acceptable if they say that i'll ship the device don't do that if you are buying from olx always make sure that you meet that person you check the device you go with your friends or something like that and then only take the device never ever give anything in advance i know this may sound like a very small thing to you or this may sound irritating but if this saves two people will end up saving 10000 rupees of someone's money and these people will obviously obviously they'll take the money like 5000 rupees and they'll never give you the device back because akash said that instead of 5000 rupees i'll give you 6000 rupees like this is another great deal in my opinion if someone is paying me 1000 rupees extra for shipping i'll any day take that and i'll ship the device early and if anyone is in emergency they'll instead take 6000 rupees instead of that 5000 rupees and give you the device because first of all even if you use fedex next day delivery is available within 1000 rupees 2000 rupees maximum you can get the delivery within next day anywhere from india so first of all charging 5000 rupees for shipping is the first sign that it's a scam i have shipped so many devices it takes maximum 500 rupees to ship a device from uh, mumbai to anywhere in india So I was searching for similar cases on uh, 
google.com and i just typed olx army scam and i found so many cases which are saying the same exact thing that on olx.in they found a deal where the deal is like very good they transferred money in advance because that person was saying that they are in army and they need the money in advance because of some emergency there are some screenshots which you can see on the screen right now plus i'll give links of all these stories in the description box below and one interesting thing all these people are saying that someone named shrikanth contacted them and the aadhar card detail that i received or akash received from four people were of shrikanth as well and i guess that's pretty much it for this particular video and a huge shout out goes to akash mani from bapogiri for letting me use his story on my channel to make this particular video thanks a lot bro and i'm really glad that you saved your money and i'm really glad to have such a smart friend like obviously uh, if you are my friend you are going to be smart if you are watching this video you are also smart now don't pay in advance always remember this if you like this video don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you have faced any olx scam in the past do let me know about that in the comment section box below did you learn anything from this video do let me know about that as well in this particular comment section and if you have not subscribed to the channel yet then click on my face right now and get subscribed because many more awesome videos like this are going to come real soon on the channel and all the screenshots which were posted on this particular video were given to me by akash mane from bapogiri which was quite obvious but still i wanted to mention that anyways thank you guys thank you for watching